Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enter your report card grades into Aspen. The first thing you have to do is log in and click on the gradebook top tab uh, located in the center. Once you've clicked on that gradebook tab, you'll see your classes listed, and there's two ways to get to the grade entry table. One is to click scores on the left hand menu. So if you feel you're lost at any time uh, and you're in the gradebook section, section, feel free to click that scores tab and that'll get you to the gradebook table. The other way to do it is to click the gradebook icon located with, next to the corresponding class. This is what the gradebook entry table looks like. There's a couple things you need to know uh, to get started. One, uh, anything that has a rubric definition uh, will say rubric next to the column header. And the uh, short name, we call it, uh, will be located in bold black. These are the columns that you need to fill in. If at any time you forget what an indicator is, all you have to do is hover over this little blue button and it will come up. So this one says discussion, but the long form says participates in group collaborative discussions. So if you ever forget, just hover over that button and you can remember what it was. To enter the grades themselves, uh, it works very similar to a spreadsheet program like Excel or Sheets. Uh, you're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, or NA and you're just going to enter it into the corresponding column for the corresponding student. I like to use the down arrow as the quickest way to fill in an entire indicator. And if you enter a rating that is not within the range of the report card, you'll notice that it comes up with an error and it turns red and there's an uh, error message located uh, up here. Just go back in and change that to what you meant to put. The last step here, uh, once you've finished all the columns you need to finish, is you have to press post grades. So in other words, the ratings you put in will save and they'll be in Aspen. But in order to send them to the report card, we have to click post grades. Once we do that, do we just confirm that trimester one is there and we're, we're submitting for all students? We press OK. And the grades have been sent to the report card. To move to the next class, there are two options to do that. One, you could use this drop down menu. So um, HL would be health, LC would be learner characteristics, RD would be reading, etc. Or you could use these arrows located over here. So if I want to move to the next class, I click the arrow and it loads reading for me. In reading, I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts to help you um, manage your rating system. So uh, in, in some of the larger classes like reading and math, a lot of the indicators may have NA because it's very early on in the year. NA in, in the table should be a capital N, a slash, and a capital A. Now, if it's NA for all students, you can simply click Control D, Control and D at the same time, and it will fill in the entire column. Another trick that I like to use would be to copy the NA. So if you have a lot of indicators that have NA, you simply press Control and C at the same time, and then Control and V, as in and then Control D will fill in. So Control V, Control D, Control V, Control D, Control V, Control D, Control V, Control D. Now, once you get to the columns that you need to fill in, you fill those in, 
and then you can go back to control V, control D, control V, control D. And then we can fill in another one in. Well, let's say everyone was proficient. And then my uh, my that entire reading um, reading class is done. The last thing I want to show you is I want to show you uh, learner characteristics. There's one thing that's different on learner characteristics. Don't forget to post grades. Under learner characteristics, you'll notice that there's an additional column and this is for um, the report card comments. It's the only class that has comments, and these contain the comments for the entire trimester one. So we fill in the indicators. Now let's say uh, you, you didn't mean to do all threes here. You can actually just go in and, and change one if you, if you need to. So on something where a majority of people are threes, or even fours, you can just go in and, and change the ones that you want to change. So to put in your comments, you see we have a little paper with a pen. Just click that paper and pen. And here is where you can write comments, notes, and other stuff. Don't forget to click Save. You'll notice that once a comment is filled in, it'll turn uh, a, a shade of blue indicating that there's writing. Don't forget to post grades. And now all of that material has been sent to the report card. Before we take a look at what the report card looks like, let's just click Pages. So uh, this is it for report card entry. This is really ba the basics that you need to know. Uh, to verify that you've actually posted in all your classes, you're going to want to click Pages. And you'll notice that um, next to the corresponding class, you have a column called Posted. And if you have posted, a green check mark will appear, indicating that you have indeed posted to the report card. So when you've done that successfully, at the school level, they will be able to run the report card. And as you can see, um, we have all the grades that we inputted for this student uh, in the proper corresponding spots so for T1, trimester one. Our comments are located here. Uh, but also notice that the only classes that show up on the report card are the ones that we posted. So it's important to note that um, that if you don't post, the report card will be inaccurate. So uh, that's it for basics of report card um, rating entry into Aspen. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at, at any time and we'll try to fix or solve your problem.